where, where did the, the, the stage name come from, Alana? Uh, it was after Dizzy. They saw, you know, I they just put it down as by Alana. And um, I hadn't even really said anything. And then for the next track with um, Duke Skellington from the LA, he was, uh, they were releasing it onto a compilation by uh, Adapted Records in Australia. And they'd said, what does she want to be called on the track? And I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know. What do I want to be called? <laughs> and, um, but I knew that I couldn't just be Alana because it was, it was linking to another artist called Alana. So I was like, right, I need another name. And I just literally put it on my WhatsApp with my best friends. I was like, what can I be called? And they just gave me some random names. I was like, that one I'll do. <laughs> That's how you so, did it. Yeah, not, I wish there was more thought into it, but that's really not. That's it, it does work as a stage name. It yeah. really does. It just... Although it has a lot, a lot of people don't say it right. A lot of people say like Alana Lees or Alana Lies or whatever. I was like, I'll take anything. Whatever. I hope I'm saying it right. It is Alana Lies, it is, isn't it? It is. Okay, thank goodness. Phew! Because that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so we, we mentioned before we were talking about Electric Swing and we just heard mm-hmm. Upside Down. How, how would you explain what electric swing is then because it's a whole movement isn't it it's huge i think a lot of people say it's you can't even say it's a genre anymore because it's just it's massive it's kind of it's almost like a lifestyle it's like there are so many different elements to it and it, i think a lot of the people who really are into electric swing they don't just like it for the music they like it because of the atmosphere they're like you know going to the electric swing events where everyone's dressed up in like vintage clothes and it's all that sort of 1920s thing it's really cute and really fun and and just a little bit you know just not taking yourself seriously too mm-hmm. much like I think that's what I like, especially with the songwriting, is that I can kind of take those musical theatre elements as well. Like, it doesn't have to be super serious songwriting. Like, it can be a bit fun, a bit tongue-in-cheek, and just a bit silly. Um, but still, you know, be taken seriously, like, in, in the music industry. So, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I think um, for festivals particularly, now festivals mm-hmm. are huge. There are so many, you know... When I was a kid and living on the Isle of Man, I looked over to England thinking, right, V Festival, Leeds Festival, Reading and Glastonbury. That's all there is. That's all there is. (laughs) But now I see there is festivals at every single corner of the world. And um, I think Electro Swing just goes down so amazing at a festival. Like everyone loves to have a dance. Everyone loves to shake a little bit, have Uh a little swing. And it's just it's just really fun. It's just really enjoyable. And it kind of. It, it's very multi-generational like yes. people can sort of see those little cheeky snippets from uh from the 1920s or the 30s or whatever um but then just make it a little bit more current and still be able to have a dance and you say multi-generational you've been bringing your son to some of the festivals as well how has uh-huh. he enjoyed it he loves it he's so <laughs> sweet he's my biggest fan and he yeah he'll he'll go to these festivals doesn't matter whether it's a small one and he can just run off and make friends or if it's a massive one and he can hold my hand so he doesn't get lost but he still sort of has a little boogie and everybody loves him he like <laughs> bless him he, he'll make friends with anyone whether they're three or like 53 <laughs> he's got your confidence for sure oh definitely yeah he just loves to go off make friends and uh, and have a good time yeah. <laughs> and and talking about the dance side of it the boogie side of it like you mentioned it it's kind of spawned a lot of, of sort of people sending you dances for the music that you do like mm. putting instagram posts up of their own dancing which then you sort of turn into little videos hasn't it so how does that all work um uh, yeah i mean to be honest i haven't had a lot of sort of direct connection to it because they often sort of I'm the sort of you know the featured artist but the uh and they send these to the producers and, and so I just see them on Instagram I'm like that's so cool like that's my voice oh my goodness <laughs> um but yeah they you know people just love to dance show what they can do just as people you know if, if you're a musician people love to sort of post it and show what you can do and and I think it's it's such a danceable it's type joyous, of music that yeah you can you can do anything and it just looks great. <laughs> some, of, some of these moves, though, are awesome. And it just makes me... The only thing I can relate it to was when I remember seeing a few years back, there was the Daft Punk video. I think mm-hmm. it was Around the World. And there was a oh, girl yeah. that filmed herself in a back garden <laughs> dancing to that. And But apart from that, I can't think of another thing where it's just sort of a personal page where someone just mm. filmed themselves and sent it. And just and then it's become something big. I mean, there's some wonderful routines that we've seen on there. Well, there's, just... um, there's a guy called Sven Otten who... He's huge now. I can't... He originally did um, a dance to a Power of Stella song, which it just like suddenly it got like 40 million hits or something really, really quick. And so he's like kind of exploded and he's been quite a forefront sort of dancer for the electric swing community. And, and he actually, 
I think at some point he was doing something to Dizzy. Yeah, he was on a um, like a breakfast show in Germany or something, and they they like invited him on as a guest, and they asked him to like show them some moves, and he was doing it to Dizzy, and I was like, that's my song. <laughs> that's amazing. So that was really cool. Yeah.